Hi everyone, today I've got a quick tip video for you using the pattern interval function in your scan and cut machine. As far as I'm aware, this function is available in all model machines, so your CM, your DX, your SDX models. And here on my desk, just to show you, I'm going to show you on the scan and cut machine, but this, this is kind of hopefully just a bit of a visual. So your pattern interval default setting is one in your machine. And basically that means that if you put more than one pattern or one shape onto your scan and cut screen, it will place those two shapes as close as possible without them touching. But by using the pattern interval, you can space them apart. Now it's not a function I use a lot, but it's handy to know if you can remember about it that it is in your machine. So I just want to show you. So I put the pattern interval up to 10, which is the maximum it will go on the machine. And I've cut three different size shapes and I'm just gonna try and explain what the pattern interval is. So I started off with this one because I've got a project in mind where I wanted some squares or rectangles and I wanted them quite close together and not very big. So I started off with a rectangle and I made it three eighths of an inch high and a quarter of an inch wide and I chose six as the number and in the pattern interval, I put that up to 10. And then what it did, it spaced them at one eighth of an inch apart, which is, I think, going to be perfect for the project I have in mind. So that will probably be an up and coming video. Then I went up to half an inch. I only chose three because I was using scraps of card. So these are half an inch square, again on pattern interval 10. And this time with pattern interval 10, it spaced them at three quarters of an inch apart. Then I chose the, a square again and I made the square three quarters of an inch in size. Again, I only chose three because of the scrap of card I had. And in pattern interval, I made it 10 and it positioned them three quarters of an inch apart. So although these two squares are different sizes, the on pattern interval 10, it's given me the same distance of three quarters of an inch. On this one, where these are only a quarter of an inch, it's given me them an eighth apart. But what I want to do, I want to go over to the machine and I want to show you where this feature is. And I want to just test it out and see if I use three rectangles at this size, if it will still give me an eighth of an inch or if it will make the space bigger. OK, so I'm just going to go over to the scan and cut. OK, so I've got the scan and cut machine on. I've got my little original template here just to remind me. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into settings. And I'm going to come down where it says pattern interval and I'm going to take it up to 10. That's the most it will do and set it. Then I'm going to come into the patterns. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I think I chose that one originally. I'm going to set it on the mat. I'm going to go to edit, object edit, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Say OK. And then I'm going to come to the resize icon. I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio. I'm going to make it three eighths of an inch high or 0 0.37. And I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch wide and say OK. I'm going to come into number and I'm going to say I want three. I did six last time. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to select all the boxes, select all my squares come to the directional arrows, come to the alignment function and just align them all up along the top. Now, to me, it looks as though it's put them the same distance apart. So, but I'll recap in a minute. You'll, you'll probably 
get a better of an idea of what I'm talking about when I just show you from the original set screen. But this is how you do it. So I'm going to say OK, OK, and I'm going to zoom in and zoom into 400%. To me, it looks as though they're the same distance apart, so it doesn't seem to matter whether I chose three of them or six of them at this size. It's put them an eighth of an inch apart at pattern interval 10. So let's go back home, say OK. So this is what I mean, it might make more sense. I'll choose, so I need to go into the wrench, change the pattern interval back to one, which is its default setting and you know it's a default setting because it's a black box with white text that's the same across any brother machine as far as i'm aware that applies to my embroidery machine as well as my scan and cut if you ever see something that's got a black box around it with a white number or white text that's the default setting so i'm going to say okay i'm going to go into patterns i'm going to choose a square and i'm going to just from this screen i'm going to say i want to now, can you see at the top of the screen, it always puts your first shape in the top left from that initial choosing screen. And it's put the second one as close as it can possibly get it. If I zoom in, you see it's as close as it can possibly get it without it touching. So that's pattern interval. So just have a play with it. Um, as I say, I have got a project in mind where I wanted some holes cutting in something quite close together and at a relatively small size so this is going to be probably another project coming soon using pattern interval anyway have a play with it yourself and see what results you get but i just thought i'd give you a quick explanation of pattern interval i mean to me i would have named it pattern spacing something like that but because I, I think pattern interval is a little bit confusing but as I say this was using pattern interval 10 on all three with three different shaped sizes but you can adjust the distance between your patterns anywhere between the default number one and 10 so just have a play around with it as I say if if you may be cutting fabric and you want to space your shapes a little bit further apart you know if you may be cutting squares to do some quilting and you're not using one of the quilting designs in the machine and you're going to be cutting them obviously in fabric but you're a bit worried about them being so close together then just go into the pattern interval and take that number up and you know see what works best for you but that was just a quick explanation of pattern interval so i hope it was helpful Please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe if you're not already subscribed it really does help my channel get put out there so more people that are in need of help can find it thank you for that and i'll see you in the next video